Hi, this is Ben Marcou with SelfHelpSacks.com, and I'm excited to welcome you to another episode of Daily Sax Hacks. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to go over some of the examples that we talked about a couple of days ago, uh, which were left-hand wake-ups. And if you want to watch the other video, it'll give you a ton of explanation. This video, I'm just going to demonstrate some of the examples I talked about in the, the last video. And from there, I hope that you can figure out what you need to work on the most so that uh, you can get the most out of these. Remember, it's a really important that you become your own best teacher because no one knows how you learn better than you do. So let's just dive right in. This is the chromatic scale starting on G up to C sharp. So that'll be G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and then back down. And uh, just a note about metronomes. I'm going to be playing this without a metronome really slowly because uh, I think that the click would make this video kind of annoying, but I highly encourage you to practice with the metronome very slowly, starting out no faster than 60 beats a minute, uh, maybe even slower than that. And I don't really ever even play it faster than 60 beats a minute. Quarter notes. does amazing stuff, but we'll talk about that another time. So let's just dive right in. Next, we'll do whole steps. So that will be G, A, B, C sharp, B, A, G, and then A flat, B flat, C, B flat, A flat. Uh, now we'll do minor thirds. So that'll be G, B flat, C sharp. G sharp, B, A, C sharp, etc., etc., uh, B flat, C sharp, and then we'll go back down. Remember, it's really important that you control your fingers on the way up and way down, make sure they don't come too far off the pearls, and that you play perfectly. You saw in that one I had to repeat some stuff, because the uh, this practicing this is pointless if you don't um, make it super duper clean and smooth. So now, you guessed it, next it's going to be major thirds, starting on G. So that'll be G, B, A flat, C, A, C sharp, C sharp, A, A, uh, C, a flat, B, G. Uh, next is fourths. Um, so that'll be G, C, G sharp, C sharp. And then C sharp, G sharp, C, G. And then last is the tritone, which will be G to C sharp to G. Remember, we're going for perfection. And next, we're going to do probably my favorite favorite warm-up. I believe this was uh, this was taught to my saxophone teacher in in college, Dr. Jared Sims. He asked Gary Simoleon, who is a ridiculously good player, um, uh, always winning downbeat polls or whatever, for what that's worth. He's, a, he's brilliant, um, and he talks about widening the interval. So we're going to start on G and go G, G sharp, G, A, G, B flat, G, B, G, C, G, C sharp. And then we'll go C sharp, C, C sharp, B, C sharp, B flat, C sharp, A, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, G. Uh, and 
I think it's important now to make a couple of notes. One, I don't care how you spell the notes to yourself. If you want to call it A flat or G sharp, I don't care. The other thing is I know that this isn't the sexiest thing to practice, but there are very few things I've found in my, at this point, uh, 12 plus years of playing that have given me such amazing ROI uh, with, frankly, not much effort. So let's go. Uh, we're going to do that exercise. <laughs> And now I'm going to do it from G sharp, because it does feel different to have G sharp as the anchor instead of G. So it'll be G sharp, A, G sharp, A flat, uh, no, G sharp, I'm sorry, G sharp, A, G sharp, B flat, G sharp, B, G sharp, C, uh, G sharp, C sharp. And you know what, I'll actually go under first. So I'll go G sharp, G, G sharp, and then do the way, the what I uh, said before, the way I said it before. And I want to make a note here real quick that I would, if I was practicing for real right now, which I am, this is good practice for me too, um, I would uh, also start them on A, A sharp, start them on every note. And also, um, I normally do them a wider range, but because we're just going over left hand right now, uh, that's why we're just keeping it to this smaller range. So here we go, start on G sharp. <laughs> I'm sorry, I messed that one up at the end. I guess when you start on the top, you can also start on C instead of C sharper. So let's do that. And that one's really great because that, that isolates air. We'll go over another video with my, uh, my big air hack. But this video is getting up there with, with length already. And it's also, I know, like I said, not the most exciting thing to watch. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, let's see a couple other examples. Um, you can play just small patterns, uh, two note patterns, trilling back and forth between any two notes. Um, I'll go G to B flat. <laughs> Again, I'm uh, trying to make everything really, really clean, and with the trills, I'm I'm going with gradual speed, uh, increasing gradual, uh, gradually rather. So uh, the last thing that I guess I mean the whole point of this, like I said, is that you can develop your own. But I'll just give you a few of the ones that I've found uh, that have that I need the my biggest pains in the sack, so to speak, for the left hand. So we uh, G to G sharp trill. <laughs> It's not that tough when it's slow, but keeping that pinky where it needs to be uh, at for consistently is tough. Um, G sharp to B flat is a big pain because uh, G sharp requires to B flat requires that you lift fifth finger or the pinky and the fourth finger or your ring finger on your left hand, which are the two weakest fingers on your left hand. These two annoying duds right here, and it also requires that you simultaneously perfectly put down. Uh, the side B flat, we're using side B flat, sorry, um, just because it's harder <laughs> for this example. So uh, let's do that one. Um, let's see, oh, I also mentioned that you should be practicing these slurred first then I'll do it I'll do another video where I'll tongue them
Um, now the last one that I'll cover today, like I said, please do whatever, just come up with your own ideas. Uh, but I can already, I'm actually warming up live on camera right now, so I'm actually feeling myself uh, getting more comfortable with the instrument in real time. So uh, here we go. This one's going to be B to C, which is a big pain because you have to lift B while simultaneously pressing down C. I'll do wrong first. Now let's see if I can get it nice and clean. Pressure's on. actually not bad for not being totally warmed up so uh, at this point I just want to reiterate one more time that this is not every possibility I hope that you got some valuable stuff that you can practice uh, now that I think the best thing that you can do would be to click the link that's showing up somewhere it's like magic download the PDF of these exercises um, there's also going to be a link below the video where you can go and download them uh, and also that will sign you up for my daily email newsletter where I send you out tons of helpful hints and interviews and fun stuff. Um, I call it daily inspiration, motivation, information. So uh, we all need that stuff. And lastly, if you feel the need, um, I would love it if you liked this video or give it a thumbs down, some reaction, but leave a comment, start a conversation with me. I really uh, look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much. Uh, I hope to see you or uh, talk to you at least very soon. Thanks.